Alright folks, so in this video we're going to look at a slightly non-trivial problem. We're going to look at this problem at um, given a binary tree, given a, some kind of a binary tree, and uh, so let's just make some tree up here. Uh, so this is my binary tree with the element 4, uh, with the root node 4 there, then I've got let's say 2, I've got 5, 1, and 3. Okay. Given this binary tree to begin with, you're going to write a function. You're going to write a function so that every left child of this binary tree becomes a right child and every right child of the binary tree becomes a left child. Okay, what does that even mean? What it means is, given this, given this tree here, you write a function so that um, uh, you have this some kind of a function, you have this some kind of function that you're going to write. I'm going to write here, let's call this function f that takes in this tree, it takes in this tree, does something to it, and uh, again, this is just from an intuition point of view, um, it's not suggesting, I'm not suggesting here that you're going to create this tree, ha is, is mutable to begin with, meaning you're going to create an entirely brand new tree here, but think about this as just an intuition which takes some kind of function that takes in a tree, and you're going to give me back, you're going to give me back, it could be the same tree, it could be the same tree, where uh, uh, every left and right have been swapped, meaning that this new tree would have four there, and we have swapped the left and the child, so the left child would be now five, and uh, the right child for this tree would be would be two, but they're also going to swap the left and child of this tree, meaning this is now going to contain, this is now going to contain three and one. Okay, so so this is this is this is the problem here, and uh, the way you're going to approach this problem, the way you're going to approach this problem is uh, let's just write this function. Let's just start some 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 schematic to 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 get the solution formulated. So I'm going to say this is going to be uh, this is going to be def def, and uh, let's keep a method name here. So let's call this mirror. Okay, because that's, that's good. I'm just speaking a mirror of this thing. And uh, this is going to be, this is going to be taking in a reference, which is the, which is the nodes and references representation of my binary tree. So let's just call this T. Okay, so given this method here, given this, given the signature of this method, what I'm going to do is, assuming that this T is none to begin with, if this T is none to begin with, then there's nothing to do, and if there's nothing to do, I'm just going to do a return here. Okay, that's simple. That's acting as my base case here. Otherwise, otherwise I'm going to suggest, otherwise I'm going to suggest here. Okay, otherwise I'm going to say, let's do this. Let's just first write a recursive function. Let's just write a recursive function because mirror is going to act as a recursive function. And again, thinking from a very, very high level at this point, what I'm suggesting here is that if I had this function correctly implemented, and if I were to say mirror, mirror on t dot left okay what does mirror do it takes in this tree t and performs a mirror on that t so perform a mirror on t dot left okay take the left part and do the mirror of this okay whatever the mirror of this is do that meaning this should be technically be two three and one okay and then do the same thing then do the same mirror on the right Okay, so then do the mirror on the right, and uh, uh, so let's do mirror on t dot right. Okay, ultimately these two have been done correctly. If these two have been done correctly, meaning I have already taken care of the left part of my tree and the right part of the tree have been have been whatever's inside the left part of the tree have been correctly correctly. Uh, uh, mirrored right there. So this is the left part of my tree and likewise the right part of my tree would look like just in this case 5. Okay, so so this piece 2, 1, 3 looks like 2, 3, 1 and 5 is just 5 by itself but because I'm working on this original tree t which points at this root value of 4, what is that last piece remaining so that it looks like it looks like this over here. How do I get this 5 over there and how do I get this mirror of the left part on the right hand side of my tree T, which is this piece right there? How do I do that? 
So assuming that this has been done correctly, assuming that this has been done correctly, the only piece that's remaining at this point, the only piece remaining at this point is I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say if I could if I could if this is done if this is this is this is this is done over here, I'm gonna say let's create a temporary node, let's create a temporary node temp. Let's just create a temporary node temp where I'm gonna say temp is something that just points at whatever t dot left is. What is t dot left here? T dot left is this entire piece here. And what is temp now? Temp is pointing, temp is pointing at this entire entire piece there. Okay. If temp is pointing at an entire piece there, then I can say at this point, I can just say if I would just continue on this uh, on this little space that I have remaining, I can say t t dot left. Okay. T dot left. T dot left is going to equal to is going to equal to whatever is t dot right. Okay, what does this mean here from picture point of view? If t is this entire tree, t, the left piece is this piece over here, I'm just going to say t dot left should equal to whatever t dot right is. So let me just draw this picture a little bit clean over here. Let's just redraw this. That's four. This is two. This is one. This is three. And this piece over here is five. Now, I'm, I'm, uh, the assumption that I made here is that this has been correctly done. This has been correctly done, meaning the actual tree that I'm working with right now is this tree here. I have, I have that five there. Oh, sorry, this is, this is still two, and this is three, this is one, and this is five. Okay, so this piece has done the mirror on the left portion of my tree, which looks like this. The mirror on the right portion of the tree is just five by itself. Then I'm saying temp equals a t dot left. Temp points at this left portion of my tree. Okay. And I'm saying at this point uh, t dot left, t, which points at this entire tree, t dot left, t dot left is pointing at this piece right here. Exactly what temp is pointing at, right? But I'm saying t dot left equals a t dot right. I mean t dot left is now going to point at instead of pointing there, is now going to point at wherever the right portion is. Okay, good because that's the idea that the in the t dot left t dot left should point at the right portion. I mean the t dot left. If you look at this final picture, the final picture says t dot left should be pointing at this tree with the root node of five. And that's exactly what I've done here. T dot left is pointing at this at this at this subtree with the root value of five. Okay, then where should t dot right point at? If t dot right originally was pointing at this piece, right? T dot right should now point at whatever temp is pointing at. So so we're going to cancel this. We're going to cancel all this here. We don't need that. We don't need that now anymore. T dot right is going to point at wherever temp is pointing at, which is this piece here. Meaning, if you look at this picture here, t dot right over here, t dot right is pointing at this tree, which has the root node of two. t dot right, t dot right is now pointing at this tree, subtree with the root node of two. So I'm going to say t dot right, t dot right is going to be, is going to be equal to, is going to be equal to whatever temp is. Okay, so so this is this is the Python's implementation. Python's implementation of how you take a tree t and do a mirror of it, mirror of it, so that this is what you get back. There. This is what you get back there. Okay, so this is I think it's a really really interesting interesting problem because it has a lot of recursion in it, and um, and um, it is uh, at the same time really it has a lot of clarity here because. Uh, because starting with this, starting with this key principle here, assuming that I've been able to do the mirror on the left piece, the mirror on the right piece, then the problem just boils down to is how would I do the final swapping? The final swapping. This is the actual swap that is happening of moving the left to the right and moving the right to the left of the original tree T. Okay? And uh, the actual C++ implementation of this. So again, if you're if you're if you're if you're interested, the, the actual C++ implementation of this, you can find this at the CS library. You can find this at cslibrary.stanford.stanford.edu. 
and I believe this you're going to find this inside uh, inside the uh, this is inside the binary tree binary tree thing. So if you were to Google up binary tree or you were to go on the CSN library to stanford.edu and in there if you were to search uh, for, for binary tree you would find the C++ implementation of this of this method that we just done here in Python uh, in, uh, in, 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 in C++. Okay, so I hope you found this useful. I hope you found this useful and uh, I feel really that uh, uh, this is one of those really interesting problems that um, that, uh, that, that, that gets the crux of recursion binary trees all nicely interplayed in, uh, in, in one problem.